You cannot change your life unless you change something. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. Why bother? Why try? I mean, what difference does it make in the end? Maybe these are some of the voices that you've heard going on inside of your head. Maybe it's something you've told yourself out loud. So why try? What does it matter in the end? It matters because you woke up today and so many people didn't. You woke up today and took a breath. You saw light coming through the window and so many people didn't. What you say to yourself on a daily basis, if you say you can't hurt me, can't hurt me. When you fail, you fall on your ass, somebody bullies you, whatever's going on in your life, can't hurt me. It starts to get in your mind and before you know it, it's the truth. The hardest thing is to start, start, man. Most people are frozen with fear and you frozen with the how to. Quit worrying about if you don't have the education, if you don't have all the credentials, you need the vision and you got to be ready to work. You got to go for it. Endurance is the key. Sometimes you just got to outlash your enemy. He may have you over overpowered. He may have you outnumbered. But sometimes you just got to endure. You got to have that power to be able to just stay with it until the end, until it's all over. Do not quit. The mind is a battlefield. You've got to be able to navigate between the things that have happened to you and the things that you would like to do. You got to imagine yourself to be more than what anyone can define. Open up the mind and realize that your talents, your abilities, your gifts have made you unique. There is no scoreboard. There is no stat that can trap or define or confine you to being what you were made to be at the foundations of the earth in the hands of God that put you on earth. The dreams that you have still exist within you. And that means there is still the capacity for them to become a reality. But so many people have lost that opportunity because they didn't wake up today, but you did. You woke up and you have this chance. You have this chance right now. And the best part is that you don't have to wait till tomorrow. You don't have to stand there and say, if only I had done what I should have done last week, last month, last year, all of that can change right now. Whether it's adversity, whether it's suffering, whether it's pain, if you choose to run towards it, who you become on the other side of it is a newer, higher, more transcendent version of you. But you got to be willing to go to war against the voices that told you you could not become something. Because the moment you decide you want to be great, you can be. But there has to be a changing of the mind. You got to go to battle and silence the voices that have told you that you couldn't amount to anything. Because you mount to more than what people can count. You see, your potential is limitless unless you place the limits on you. The only one you're in competition with is in the mirror, and that mirror reflects whatever you want to see. You're not as far away from these dreams as you think you are. You're actually a lot closer than you think. But because you think it's so far away, you behave in accordance with that belief system, and it always keeps it that far away from you. First thing is you need to believe and know that your one decision, one relationship, one meeting, one book, one thought, one something away from a completely different life. And when you know that, when you, then you begin to look for them. Not waste the experience. If we look at a journey, something that we want to accomplish, don't turn out the way we want it to, we throw it to the side. Nah, man, I'm cool on that. That ain't it. Right? And we waste the experience. And it's like, no, nah, don't waste that. Learn from it. Even if you're tired, you can still go to the gym. Even if you're annoyed with your spouse, you can still speak in a manner that's loving. Even if you don't feel like doing that hard work, you can still push yourself to do it. Your feelings aren't a choice. Your behavior and your thoughts are always a choice. Today, I want to remind you of a truth that often gets overshadowed by the noise of doubt and skepticism. You were born to be great, and within your heart lies the compass that points to your dreams. It's time to follow that compass, to pursue your passions with unwavering determination, and to silence the doubters and the naysayers. Life is too short to be spent 
living someone else's dream or bowing to the opinions of those who say you can't. Instead, I urge you to listen to this, your heart. You do anything, it adds up. When you do nothing, it amounts to zero. So take the small steps every day. Do what you're supposed to do. And don't expect some incredible results in one day or two days or 10 days. Worthwhile things, they take time. And you go on that mission to upgrade yourself, to become the 2.0 version of yourself. That is threatening, that is scary to the people around you. They don't know this version of you and they can't relate to you. Maybe your story isn't to receive the opportunity for, from somebody else, but maybe your story is to make the opportunity for yourself. To step out on life, to play for loud. No more playing small. You were never made to play small. You were meant to play for loud. And I want to see it happen. Because I know that you are capable of it. I don't care what you've been told in the past. I don't care what you've told yourself in the past. But as of right now, right now, Everything changes. Go get it.